Hey guys, this is a Casablanca Victorian ceiling fan. Um, now this ceiling fan I got yesterday, I got it off of Facebook Marketplace, and I got it for only $30, so it was definitely a really good deal. Now this ceiling fan is my very first Victorian, obviously. <clears throat> it's also my very first Slumber Quiet ceiling fan. This this Victorian is an older one. It has Casablanca's Slumber Quiet Variable Speed Control. Um, and the great thing about that is that the Slumber Quiet still works, which is very uncommon. Um, typically these days, the components on the Slumber Quiet fail. Basically, if you're not familiar with the way that the Slumber Quiet works, it basically has a... There's a circuit board, a PCB in the, um, in the nose with a knob potentiometer on the side, which you can kind of see there. Um, and then there's a transistor and a heat sink up in the motor housing. So um, oftentimes the transistor will fail, the diodes will fail on the, on the board. So um, I'm determined to keep this one running. But if it ever does fail, I'm pretty confident that I'll be able to fix it, um, considering I do have some experience with that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, so this ceiling fan is um, from 1982. I can't remember what month it is, but I'll show you the tag up close in a later at a later time, so I'll, you'll be able to see that. Um, it's white and polished brass with these beautiful, genuine Casablanca cane blades. Um, so yeah, this is my very first set of Casablanca cane blades that I have. Um, <clears throat> this fan is, um, and it has a, a ring, K4 loop arm ring fitter as well as a single fitter on the bottom of the nose cap. Um, yeah, now this fan does have a K55 stack motor. Um, it's not one of the, the older ones from the 70s had uh, K63s. And um, I think one of the, re one of the um, signs how you can tell whether it has a K55 or a K63 other than looking at the top of the motor housing because you can clearly see from the motor mount if it has a K55 or a K63 because the uh, K55 has that classic black sort of like with the slots and the K63 is kind of the crossbar type thing. Um, <clears throat> it also um, came with a hang true and that's in, that's how you can kind of tell that it's K55. It, if it's K63 it'll typically have a bell canopy or like the older style bell canopy or the flat, the original flat canopy. Um, now this one did come with a hang true, however I don't have it hanging on its original hang true right now. I have it hanging on the hang true that I've used for my past two ceiling fan demo videos. The It's the hang true from my Meridian. Um, I had the Four Seasons hanging up there. Um, and then I took it down and put this up so I didn't have to take down the hang true that's up there already. Um, so yeah. Um... Now when I got it, it, it came on this really long, like, three-foot down rod. Um, I took that off and I uh, put a Casablanca, a, a later, actually, stem, down rod and stem assembly on it from my Four Seasons, my white and polished brass five-blade Four Seasons. Um, simply because um, if I had used, if I had hung it down here with the three-foot down rod, it would have literally almost hung to the floor. And there's no way I was going to be able to get that all that in, ca in the camera, and that would also be really awkward to work around. Um, it was really awkward for the Four Seasons, and that was only on like a one foot down rod. So, yeah, um, it's hanging on a, a later stem. Um, so, yeah. Now, also when I got it, the light kit had been wired directly. So it, it was on, I guess, a separate, it actually was on a separate wall switch. Um... So the um, the light was on constantly, so I had to rewire the light so that it would be on the pull chains. The pull chain has a three-way function, so when you pull it, it's like a sequence of like whether it be both the fan and the light are on, or just the fan or just the light. I can't remember the sequence, but I'll go over it. Now, like I mentioned, it was on a, a separate light switch, and the reason why I know this is because the um, people who sold me the fan, that, that actually they were... Not the original owners, because they had just moved into the house. Um, but they, they said that the previous owners had were the original owners of the fan, and they had bought the fan for a lot of money back in the day. 
Um, <clears throat> they gave me this switch with it. This fan and light combo uh, single gang switch. It's a three speed control and a light dimmer. So um, this right here is the reason why I believe that the Slumber Quiet still works. Because they did not use the Slumber Quiet, they used the three speed uh, wall control instead. So I just thought that was kind of cool. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, give you a demonstration of the fan. Now this fan is reversible. There's a reverse switch on the nose. It's actually on the opposite side of the nose from where the camera's facing. Um, the only complaint I have about it is that the light kit arms are actually oriented right under both the pull chain and the slumber quiet knob, which is really kind of awkward. Um, so yeah, um, but that's my only real complaint about it. Other than it's a great fan, I love it, it's beautiful, and it's definitely one of the most iconic fans, I think, in fan collectors known to the community. It's definitely one of the most iconic Casablanca models. So yeah, let's turn it on. Now, I don't want to start it up directly on high because I don't want to stress the flywheel too much because that flywheel is very old. It's the original. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the slumber quiet off on low and I'm going to kind of move it up to high because I, I like to start my fans up on high when I'm testing. So... Actually, it's on like a medium speed right now. So that's high, and actually, so I believe the pull chain sequence goes fan only, then light only, then fan and light, then off. So high speed is, of course, like all Casablancas, fast and powerful. Um, a little bit of wobble, but that's once again because the hang true isn't fastened all the way up to the box, because if I did fasten it all the way up to the box, I wouldn't be able to get the ball in the hang true. So yeah. So I'm going to demonstrate the light kit now. Um, yeah, um, pull the chain. So that's just, so the next pull chain uh, in the sequence, the next pull would be just the light. So there it is with the light kit on and the fan spinning down. I really would like it if this light kit were a three-way light kit, like just the middle and then just the outer uh, shades. Now one thing I don't really like is I'm not a huge fan of the tulip shades, or as we some people call it, grandma glass, but I just feel like they're a little bit uh, too generic for this fan. So next next pull is uh, both the fan and the light and then the final pull is off so I'm going to just do the fan so you've already seen it on high so I'm going to uh, I'm going to back it down to a sort of a medium speed I know some people like to do quarter turns, but I just like to find the perfect medium speed. Actually, I think the perfect medium speed I had determined was like a quarter of a turn almost. Yeah, I think that's a good medium speed actually. Might be a little slow on the um, on the speed of the motor, but it's a good air movement for medium. Definitely moving some air. So I'm gonna turn it another quarter of a turn. So now the dial on the knob is facing straight up. And I guess this is kind of like a a functional low. And 
and I'm just going to turn it all the way down to low now. Oh, wrong way. It does take a while to get down to speed. I think it's almost there. Yeah, that's down to speed. So the, um, I think the best trait of Casablanca Slumber Quiet fans is they have some of the best low speeds that have ever been produced in any ceiling fan model. They just, they're so slow, they're, they're so aesthetic. This is just, I, I say, the ideal restaurant low. I can see like several of these just spinning on this low speed in a restaurant or a bar or something. Maybe not this finish for a bar, but like something like kind of like a fancy restaurant maybe in like I don't know anywhere honestly that's just it's just so amazing I love it all right I'm gonna turn the fan off and reverse it that reverse switch is on this side somewhere there it is once again, the reverse switch is oriented right above the, the light kit arm, which is annoying. So I'm going to do low in reverse. Now I haven't tested it on all speeds in reverse. I think I did test it on just low and high. I haven't tested it in like the mid range. But once again, the perfect low speed in my opinion. I think any slower and it would stall out. So Casablanca definitely knew what they were doing when they made the slumber quiet circuits. At least, maybe they didn't exactly perfect the electronics considering they fail all the time, but at least they knew what they were doing from an aesthetic point of view. Alright. I'm going to take the uh, slumber quiet up to that sort of functional low. So there's your functional low right there. I just kicked the camera stand. Sorry about that. All right, I'm going to take it up to medium, which is actually a quarter of a turn. So there's your medium. Actually, that's more of like a a little slow for medium. It's that's a good medium. All right, and just take it all the way up to high. It's also annoying having the knob right above the light kit arm because you have to kind of go around it, and then your knuckle will hit the blade arms. It's kind of annoying. It's actually really annoying. I wish there were a way to turn the light kit, but there isn't. 
So it's not wobbling as bad in reverse. It's actually barely wobbling at all, maybe just a little bit, but it's pretty well balanced. I did try to balance it, but I didn't want to bend the blade arms too much in, after, uh, for fear of breaking either the flywheel or the blade arms. Because, like I said, it's a very old flywheel. Alright. Light kit, light and fan, fan off, and light off. See what I mean about how uh, like the flywheel is very flexible, which I guess is good considering it'll isolate a lot of vibrations. But still, I'm worried about it breaking because there's no replacements anywhere. All right, so here's an up close view of the fan. Um, there's your tag right there. It's FP five seven three five, so that would be. June 5th, 1982, 735th fan made that day. I don't know if that's actually 5,735 5, made in June. I think this is actually when they did start using the um, actual day of the month because I remember in um, Andrew's video, uh, he mentioned that they had in 1981 and before they were just doing like the number of fans made in that month or that year, so who knows. I'm pretty sure that is June 5th, 1982. So um, there's your light kit. Once again, K4 loop arm ring fitter, single fitter on the bottom of the nose cap. Now the center globe does have a small crack right there. Put it to the back. But no big deal. It doesn't. It, it's not affecting anything. The shades are all unbroken and in perfect condition. Um, so here's the absolutely beautiful Casablanca cane. I love this. It's it's just so perfect. And I love how the cane is actually like flush with the blade, so it's not like an inlay. It's, well, it's kind of like it is an inlay, but it's not like a um it's not like a um uh, what what's what am I trying to say? It's not like this on the Evergo here where it's like it goes under this part. It's actually like put directly on there, so it's pretty cool. Um, but these blades are just so perfect. Love Casablanca cane. Um, you got your ornate nose cap and your ornate face plate within the fern leaf design. The top plate is not ornate, but it's kind of like, it's actually almost identical to the Lady Delta. Um, hang true, once again, not original to this fan. Um, yeah, and you got, of course, your pretzel blade arms. Some very early ones actually had, like, the regular, uh, crescent moon blade arms, like, on a zephyr, like, like these. So, um, and early ones also had arch end blades as well. But, yeah, there's the old flywheel. I believe that's the Casablanca Silent Flex flywheel, I think that's what it's called. I'm not sure. I think it is. Is it all rubber? I, I'm not really familiar with these older Casablancas because this is the oldest one I have, so I really don't know. But yeah, there's a pull chain, reverse switch, and there's a slumber quiet knob. Original knob, original potentiometer, all original parts. So yeah. And then if I look, if you see, look at the top. K55 stack motor. So yeah, I think that's about it for this. And oh yeah, one thing that I also really like, Casablanca, early Casablanca polished brass has sort of like a copper tint to it. It's it's not really that like uh, pronounced, but you can sort of see it. It's kind of like a, a like a faint copper. I almost said copper, but you get the idea. Um, but you, you can actually see it here. This is like regular I guess I don't know why this one isn't it but then you can see the socket here is kind of coppery it's really cool I like it a lot so yeah that's it for this video so thank you for watching that's the Casablanca Victorian from 1982 with slumber quiet thank you for watching and more to come